Hey everyone. Today, we are going to deploy and interact with a smart contract on ZK Sync in less than five minutes, just using your browser. We'll be using the browser-based IDE called Atlas, which has a super cool AI assistant, great testing features, and is easy to use. Let's jump in. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a smart contract to exchange messages, how to deploy that smart contract to the ZK Sync Sepolia testnet, and how to interact with that smart contract from your browser. Everything we covered today is in our handy dandy docs. So let's head over there and get started. So before we get into the meat of the tutorial, actually deploying and interacting with the contract, we have to do a few things. They won't take any time at all though. Very easy. The first is we have to add ZK Sync Sepolia testnet to our wallet, our uh, MetaMask wallet or whatever crypto wallet you use. And then we have to fund that wallet account with a certain amount of Sepolia testnet ETH. So we'll do that now, super fast. So if we go here in the docs and we click on connect to ZK Sync era, there are these two buttons here, which are so, so handy. They're gonna save you a ton of time. This one is, um, we click it here and it adds ZK Sync era mainnet to our MetaMask wallet. And watch this here, allow the site to add network. And we say approve, we switch to that network. And then this other button allows us to add ZK Sync Sepolia testnet to our wallet. Now I've already added it, so it actually will just ask me to switch it. But if it wasn't added, then you would have seen the same prompt as before with mainnet. So we're now switched over to Sepolia here. And um, one thing, which is that if you use another in-browser wallet, or if you need to put these network details in um, some other sort of environment, we actually have the main network details listed here, as well as the Sepolia test net, uh, network details. So it's very easy to do that as well. So now that we have added ZK Sync Sepolia testnet to our wallet, we need some ETH uh, to deploy and interact with that wallet. Now there are two ways uh, to get Sepolia testnet ETH on ZK Sync. The first is get it natively. We have a great uh, faucet here that we're going to use from LearnWeb3. We can also bridge it over from Sepolia testnet itself, and we'll do that as well. So here we'll do uh, Learn Web 3. You need to create a uh, profile here. Uh, and once you've done that, you just enter your ETH address. ETH address. And then it's going to ask us to connect to GitHub. Uh, testnet faucets get hit by bots and a lot of spam. And so this is just a, a thin layer of verification, which allows us to connect here. Perfect. Now I'm going to show you how you can take Sepolia that's on the Sepolia testnet and bridge it to ZK Sync, which sometimes is easier to get ZK Sync testnet ETH. Okay, so first you need Sepolia. Uh, any of these faucets will do. And then once you have the Sepolia on that network, we're going to head over to the ZK Sync bridge. And here you can see I'm on the Sepolia network, which is a test network in MetaMask. And um, I've just received some Sepolia from the proof of work faucet. And I'm going to bridge it over to uh, ZK Sync Sepolia testnet. So I'm going to send myself about 0 0.05. I'll hit continue. I'll say, I understand. And then I'll say bridge now. And we'll confirm. And we'll wait a few minutes and the test underneath will show up, which is exciting. Now that we have successfully added ZK Sync Sepolia testnet to our MetaMask wallet, and we have gotten some testnet ETH from two different methods, we're now going to look at the smart contract code that we're going to be deploying to uh, the testnet. And just like a poem, I think it's really important to understand entirely what a smart contract is doing, and then we'll drill down a little bit into the different parts before deploying it. So essentially what this contract does is it stores messages from users and then emits 
another message from Zeke, who is our network's mascot, a very cute little cat. And we're just going to go through through the contract line by line just so we understand it uh, before we deploy it. So first we have here is uh, the contract title and a string array, which is storing, uh, which is private, meaning that the variable uh, isn't public. And that's called messages. We have an event here, which allows us to, uh, whenever we receive a message from a user, we'll emit an event. We see our constructor here, which runs only once when we deploy the contract and it will emit this nice message from Zeek. And then we have uh, a couple functions here. So the first one that we have is our send message function, which takes in uh, a message uh, variable and then adds that whatever the message is from the user to the uh, string array that we instantiated at the top of the contract. And then it'll emit the message from Zeek here. Zeek is the end game. Next, we have our get total messages. This will allow us to, uh, because messages is a private variable, we've created a function which is public and only a view function, which allows us to see how many messages we've stored. This will allow us to troubleshoot it a bit and make sure that messages length is increasing as we send messages. Okay, now it's time to compile and deploy the contract. So. We have two options here, Atlas and Remix. Uh, right now, we're gonna open the smart contract in Atlas, which is a browser-based um, IDE, integrated development environment. It's also got a cool uh, AI assistant to help you with smart contracts, and it allows you to uh, write and test and deploy contracts to networks directly from the browser. And what's really cool is you can just click this button here and put our contract name here, which is Zeke's secret messages. And you can see it's importing a template here and boom, we have our Solidity code already imported into Atlas. It saves us a lot of time, which is really wonderful. Now we're here in the uh, Atlas IDE. You can see there's a lot of different elements here. We'll just step through a couple of them. The first is over here, our network. Because it's detected that our MetaMask is on the Sepolia testnet, it is also here showing up as our Sepolia testnet. Here we see our MetaMask wallet address here, which we can copy, and it's got our balance. And then we have our file, which is the uh, current smart contract with which we just walked through. And then we have a deploy. And we actually are just going to go right ahead and click deploy here. And we're going to see a pop-up and MetaMask is gonna ask us to sign. Now, this is an interesting element. This looks a little bit different because of the way that we talked about earlier that ZK Sync uh, compiles and deploys contracts. So you'll see a sign rather than a confirm. So we'll sign and then in just a second, have uh, the smart contract address the de that it's been deployed to right here and we'll look at that in the explorer in just a second but then we have these two interesting uh variables here one is the contract balance meaning that if we had put a uh, a payable function in here this would allow us to send uh actual uh funds to the contract we didn't do that so of course the contract balance is zero but here look we have this get total messages which is our public function which allows us to read the uh, number of messages that have been created and as expected that is zero but we want to change that so we are going to send a message here so we'll just click our uh, our function here the send message and it's expecting a message here and what are we going to say here we will say hello zeke happy to be here and we'll click run and what this is gonna do, is gonna prompt, now we see the confirm from MetaMask. Submitted fee about $2. And this is all Sepolia testnet ETH on ZK Sync. So it's just testnet ETH, good for testing. And um, that contract, uh, uh, that uh, transaction has been submitted and there we go. Successful output, it's got our gas used. And then we see that our get total messages has increased to one. So not, on, not only have we successfully deployed the smart contract, 
but we have also interacted with it all from our browser, all in just a few clicks. We have now deployed our contract, interacted with our contract, but there's one more thing, which is that there's this response from Zeek that's hard-coded in the Solidity contract that we want to see the response on the chain. So we're gonna use a really cool feature of Atlas to do that. We can open up uh, the smart contract in the block explorer and Atlas automatically verifies the smart contract. So we see the, the, the name of our contract here. We can also see the transaction that just came through. We have our contract address, which we can match with the one in Atlas. We can also see here the smart contract code, which has been compared against the deployed bytecode. And this is great for yourself and your users for both transparency and security, that folks can be sure that the Solidity code that they're reading is the same as the bytecode that's been deployed onto the network. And last, we have the events that have been emitted by this smart contract. We have the first one here from our constructor function the first time that the contract run ran. And then we have the event here. ZK is the end game, message received, which was emitted when we submitted our own message. Congratulations, you just deployed and interacted with a smart contract from your browser on ZK Sync all in a matter of minutes. If you weren't already, you're now a part of the ZK developer community. Our developer docs are full of tutorials like this and other great resources to help you on your journey. Head on over there and check them out. Also, if you haven't already, check the links below to join our Discord. If you have any questions or just wanna showcase what you've been building on ZK Sync, head to our GitHub discussions. There, you can ask any questions, talk to other people in the community, and talk directly to our team to help resolve any issues you might be having. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.